Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you what to do if you're getting the Discord error, upload failed, file cannot be empty and how to fix it in no time. So before we dive in into any solutions, just make sure to check the file that you want to upload. Sometimes it happens that the size is too big or the format of the file might not be accepted, but this is not a thing that usually happens. Also ensure that the file is not corrupted due to malware. So you can just scan your file beforehand with an antivirus and make sure to send it afterwards. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to update the Discord app. Now to do this, just close your Discord application and just launch it again. So just type in Discord when you press the start button or if you have it on your desktop, just launch it once again and usually an update window will show up as soon as you restart Discord if you haven't updated it already. And you can just check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to change the server region. To do this, open up Discord, then click on the gear icon which is the user settings. Afterwards, under billing settings, go to server boost, then click on overview and locate server region click change and select the server location. Then you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to run the network troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, click on settings, afterwards click on system on the left pane, and then on the right side, scroll down until you find the troubleshoot category and just click on it. Now click on other troubleshooters and afterwards click on the run button next to network and internet. From here on, make sure to follow the on-screen instructions to fix your internet connection because it might be the cause for your problem. Then you can just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to try the Discord web version. Now to do this, open up your default browser, access discord.com and from here on, just log in and you can try to send your file and see if it's working properly. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.